Have you ever asked ChatGPT something and got a totally random response? Or a response that failed to fulfill your expectations? Well, you are not alone as this is a common issue many AI users often face. But the interesting part is that the issue is not caused by hallucinations or other internal problems in the AI model, it lies in your prompts. And here comes the concept of prompt engineering. It is the art and science of crafting instructions, called prompts, to get the best, most accurate, or most creative results from AI language models. To put it simply, prompt engineering is basically how you talk to AI. Prompt engineering is becoming one of the most in-demand skills in the modern AI-driven world. And with that said, welcome to today's session. My name is Luna, and in this session, I will give you an overview of prompt engineering and teach you its various types with examples so you can upskill and increase your work efficiency in this continuously developing era. First, imagine AI as you, having a super genius assistant who knows everything, but only gives good answers when you ask the right way. So, the prompt is your instruction. A weak prompt can lead to confusing or robotic answers. But a good prompt? It gives you clear, useful, and even creative results. Whether you're using AI to write, code, study, design, or even brainstorm, prompt engineering is your secret weapon. At the fundamental level, prompt engineering has seven types. Let's break them down with simple examples so you can easily understand. First, let's talk about the most basic, zero-shot prompting. This is when you ask a question or give a task directly, without any example, such as, give me five birthday gift ideas for a 12-year-old boy. Or, tell me 10 things that have made pop culture so popular. You see, quick, simple, and best for basic tasks. After that, let's move one step up. Enter one-shot prompting. This is when you give one example before asking the AI to do a similar task. For instance, you type, write a tweet about a coffee brand. Tweet colon, start your day strong, hashtag caffeine love. And in the next line say, now write one for a yoga mat brand and then press enter. Here you are already giving an example in the form of the coffee brand, and based on that example, asking the AI to create a tweet about a yoga mat brand. Now, let's move one more step up. Here comes few shot prompting. This is when you give two or more examples before asking the AI to do a task. For instance, here you would also add some other brands in your tweet example, such as clothing and green tea brands examples. This is a great method when you need to make sure that the model understands your query in full depth, context, and essence. This is also very useful for keeping consistency in tone and style. At fourth, we have chain of thought prompting. This is when you ask the AI to show step-by-step -step thinking before giving the final answer. For example, what is 27 into 34? Think step-by-step -step before answering. This method makes the model approach the query one step at a time and is great for reasoning, math, coding, and logic problems. After this, we have instruction-based prompting. This is when you give the AI clear instructions on how to behave or what format to follow. For instance, you write, you are a career coach. Give me three resume tips for a fresh graduate in bullet points. Focus on the phrases, three resume tips and bullet points. Here, you are giving the model clear instructions about what kind of output you actually want. So, the method is very useful when you want your answer in a specific format or in a specific professional scenario. Next, we have one of the most popular methods that is role-based prompting. This method almost feels similar to instruction-based prompting as both methods are sometimes integrated with each other. Role-based prompting is when you command the AI to take on a specific role or persona, such as, Act like a fun science teacher. Explain how rainbows are formed to a 10-year-old. Here you are assigning the model the persona of a fun-to-be-around science teacher. This is perfect for personalized or creative tasks, and for many times, professional tasks as well. Finally, we have multi-step prompting or prompt chaining. This is when you use multiple connected prompts for complex tasks. This sounds like chain of thought prompting, but here instead of telling the AI to think step-by-step, step, you are assigning the steps yourself to the model. An example would be when you provide ChatGPT with an article and tell it to summarize the article, and after that, turn that summarization into a tweet. Here, 
You are manually defining two sequential steps that the model must follow in order to complete the task. And with this, we have now come to the end of our session. But don't leave just yet. I have few important things to tell you. First, what you have learned here are just the fundamentals of prompt engineering. In real life scenarios, you will find yourself combining all these types with each other. So we have prepared a free PDF for you all. The PDF contains everything taught in this session with some real life use case examples where you would need to combine the types. We will provide the link in the description or in the comment section. Just click on it and sign into the Gumroad website. Then just add the PDF to your cart. And that's it, done. Absolutely free and you won't be asked any card details either. Now, if you have enjoyed the session, kindly leave a like, it will help the video to reach more learners like you. And subscribe to Alpha Intellect for more AI-related content. See you in the next video. Until then, take care and keep learning.